You set up your astrophotography rig and the conditions are perfect. A clear sky, great seeing, and the DSO you are targeting is going to be high in the sky all night. All systems are go and you head to bed. And then this happens. The dreaded camera write failure. It's when your camera appears to continue shooting, but it fails to write the images it shoots to disk. And as best I can figure, it's an uncommon, though not a rare error. However, I had never even heard of this error until the Nina 3.0 update at the same time PHD2 updated, and that was when this problem began for me. I hunted all over the internet trying to understand this problem, and came across a number of suggested solutions, including changing USB 3.0 or higher cables for USB 2.0, which I tried, by the way, though it didn't resolve the issue. It was definitely a software issue. After the Nita 3.0 update and the almost simultaneous PHD2 update, there had come to be some kind of issue, perhaps a resource conflict, between these applications because it only happened after those updates and it only happened when they were both running at the same time. I contacted Player One customer support. As always, they were great. They had an engineer promptly get back to me and he tested my cameras and found there were no physical problems with them. They even updated their ASCOM driver to try to address it, but it did not resolve the issue. And it finally reached the point when I was thinking I would have to quit using Nina, because I was not getting any sleep at night. I would literally set an alarm to wake me up every hour so I could check and make sure the camera had not experienced another disconnect. It would happen one, two, sometimes three times per night. And on a typical night, I would lose as much as 25% of the nights in camera write failures. So I had to get up every hour, monitor the camera continuously, and even then I would lose some time because I could check the camera and then have the failure happen five minutes after I went back to sleep. Not to mention it was getting exhausting waking up every hour through the night to check on the system. Here in Eastern Canada, we usually get several clear nights at once. And by the end of two to four days of clear nights and waking up every hour all through the night, I was a tired mess and no good for anything for a while. I poured over every website I could find looking for a solution and really found nothing to resolve it until I came across this unsung Nina plugin. I've never seen it mentioned on any forum and it seemed to appear insofar as I could tell in Nina without any fanfare at all. But this one plugin and specifically one instruction with the plugin resolved the issue definitively and made Nina fun to use again. So I'm thinking for all of you out there who have experienced this problem, you'd probably like to know about this too. So without any further background, let's jump into it. So Nina, go into the plugin tab and look down the list until you find a plugin called Connector. Go ahead and download it. Then you'll have to restart Nina to activate it. Once back in Nina, go to Sequencer to take a look at the instructions that the Connector plugin offers. You're looking in particular for this one, Reconnect Camera on Download Failure. It's very simple to use. I'll just quickly demonstrate it on this dummy copy of Nina I keep on my desktop to practice and experiment with settings. I'll just open up one of the template sequences. I'll drag a basic sequence target template into the sequence target area section. Now here we'll see a pretty good though basic set of sequence instructions. Now look to the right in your instruction list under the connector section. You just want to go over to the reconnect camera on disconnect option and drag it into your triggers. It will place itself at the end of all the triggers and, and every time the triggers run, it will also check the camera to make sure that it's writing properly. And that's it. Just like that, the camera write failure problem is resolved. Let me show you. Here's my Nina log from July 28th. Notice at 927, it says camera download failed exception. The reconnect camera instruction recognizes the problem immediately and at 928 disconnects and reconnects the camera. Then in the sequence, it says restarting cooling as it was cooling before. So the instruction will disconnect and restart the camera and then restart the cooling. And with that, the problem is resolved. The reconnect camera on download failure instruction promptly gets the camera back in business. Unfortunately, insofar as I can tell, the connector instructions are not well documented. In particular, I wanted to know how the instruction set goes about reactivating the camera cooling system and see if there was any way I could modify that, but I haven't been able to find any documentation on that. So to work around that small limitation, just look to the right in the instruction list and look under the camera heading and drag cool camera down to the instructions list and set that to operate at whatever you want your camera temperature to be during the night. So for me, I set it at minus five Celsius. This will just double check your camera constantly every time it runs a new image and make sure the camera is at temperature. 
And with that, like magic, the camera failure to write problem is resolved. I would certainly like it if it was fixed entirely and didn't happen at all. But putting the connector instruction into your sequence and cool camera into your instruction set is like adding insurance that the entire system will run reliably throughout the night. If you've experienced this problem, I know you know how frustrating it can be. It feels like a wasted night. It is a wasted night. And if you're doing like I was doing and staying up much of the night to deal with it, it's exhausting too. And there's no doubt in my mind you're going to find the reconnect camera on download failure instruction to be a godsend. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps you in your own imaging and improves your enjoyments of astrophotography. If you've appreciated what you see, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Now, and above all, have a blast doing astrophotography and get on out there and shoot that sky.